Welcome to another video. I have an integral here which is more like a follow-up to the last video that I did which was on the King's property. Now I could have used this in that video but I thought maybe I should dedicate a separate video to this problem. Now this problem is almost impossible to compute if you try to do it another way other than using the King's property of definite integrals and it's going to be super easy and short. Let's get into the video. So what I'm going to do is use the King's property but I want to show you why the King's property is going to work here because remember that every time we do a problem like this, what you want to do is you want to replace x with the sum of 0 and the two bounds, the upper and lower bounds, you add them together and subtract x. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to say um, using the king's, hey, king has to look right, the king's property this integral is going to be the same thing if we replace x with 0 plus pi over 2 minus x. Okay, so we know that the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus tan, you know, I'm going to write it this way, tan x to the pi, because that's what this notation means, dx is the same thing as the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus tan. Now, if we open this up, it's going to be tan 0 plus pi over 2, 0 plus pi over 2 minus x. Yes, dx. You know what? I'll put the dx on top here. Okay? So this integral, using the King's property, because it's a definite integral, we don't care whether this function is even or odd. We don't care. We just want to see, we're stating it that this and this are exactly the same thing. Now, how would it resolve for us? It depends on how much trig we know with this term. Okay, let's finish this. Let's make this cleaner. So this would be equal to um, the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of dx over, over 1 plus tan, oh, to the pi, sorry. Uh, yeah, I didn't write that right, but I'll make it cleaner here. Okay, so I'm going to make it 10, and this would be just pi over 2, pi over 2 minus x. Okay, everything raised to power pi. Okay, so what does this really mean? Well, if you go back to your trig, you will remember or you will recall or find out or discover, whatever you choose, <laughs> that... When you have, recall, let's just do this, recall that for a right triangle, okay, if this is x, then the, up, the angle in this corner is, this angle here is 90 minus x because this is 90 already, so this is pi over 2 minus x. That's what this angle is. So the tangent of this angle is opposite over adjacent. Let me write it as OPP over ADJ. So notice that tan x is equal to the opposite over adjacent, the opposite over adjacent. But if I want to compute the cotangent of this angle, it's going to be adjacent over up because this would be the adjacent to this angle, which is the same thing as opposite over adjacent, which is equal to the cotangent of pi over 2 minus x. So in this case, 
we can clearly see that the cotangent of pi over 2 minus x is the same thing as the tangent of x. That's where the idea comes from. So with this, I can confidently say that the tangent of x of pi over 2 minus x is the cotangent of this, or you can just write this as 1 over 10. Also, let's draw a line here. Also, the tangent of pi over 2 minus x over 2 minus x is equal to the cotangent of x. If I took the tangent of this, it's going to be this over this, which is the cotangent of this angle adjacent over opposite. Just flip it. So that tells me that I can replace this guy with 1 over 10x. So whatever I have presented here, therefore, let's call this i. Therefore, i is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of dx over, you see, this is the guy, 1 plus, what will this guy be? It's going to be 10 pi over 2 minus x, but I just said 10 pi over 2 minus x is just 1 over 10x, which is going to be 1 over 10x, but now it's to be raised to pi. See, that we're going to have the pi here, so this is going to be the pi to the x. I just want to go back to the original notation. So that's what you have. If we clean this up, this is going to end up having 10 to the pi over x going to the top, and under we're going to have 10 to the pi over x over 1, so this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 10 to the pi of x over 10 to the pi of x plus 1 dx. So the original integral, which is this guy, is the same thing as this guy. So if I add this integral to this integral, notice how the two denominators are now the same. So I can add this to this so that I have 2i is now equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of, if I add this to this, they have the same denominator, so I can just add the numerators, it's just going to be 1 plus 10 to the pi of x divided by 1 plus 10 to the pi of x dx, which tells me that 2i is equal to just the integral from 0 to pi over 2 dx, which is equal to x evaluated from 0 to pi over 2, which is equal to pi over 2 equals 2i. That tells me that i equals pi over 4. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.